Hello guys, in this tutorial, we're going to be showing you how to use Microsoft Authenticator app on Android. So we have our app here and we're going to open it. Now we're currently on our Microsoft Authenticator app and this is where you can get time-based codes for verification or authentication of your accounts. Currently, we have two accounts connected to our Microsoft Authenticator and you can use this as a two-factor authentication method or a multi-factor authentication method. Whatever the case is, you can connect your account to your Microsoft Authenticator app to generate time-based codes which can be used for authentication. In order to do that, you just need to go over to the bottom right corner area here where we have the QR code scanner. And when you click on it, you can scan a code on your social media profile or any other account that you can connect your Microsoft Authenticator into. At the top right here, you can add other accounts with a plus icon. And then if you have many more accounts, you can go over to the search icon where you could tap on it and search for accounts. At the top right corner, you have the three dots there. And when you tap on it, you have some other options such as turning off for battery optimization, checking for notifications, rearranging the accounts if there are lots of them and you'd like to arrange some of them at the top of the screen. You also have security notifications, the help and the send feedback. Now, when you go over to settings, you have your notification settings if you'd like to have app updates and also you have the option to backup in the cloud. You're also going to have your recovery account, which is very important in case you lose your mobile device. And then you have app lock here where you would require a screen lock when the app opens. This is important so no one opens it without your knowledge. Currently, we're recording on screen and you have the option to have the screen capture allowed or disallowed. You need to be careful about this because this might mean that your screen will be captured just as it is captured right now and you need to make sure that your sensitive information is not shared. At the bottom, you have battery optimization turned on. Of course, this is important if you'd like to save your mobile device battery. And at the bottom here, you have some more options to synchronize the account for autofill settings. You could also set Microsoft Authenticator as a default autofill provider. Now at this level here, you can see that we require a biometric or a pin to open the app. This is in connection with the toggle to have the app locked when you're out of the app. You also have the option to import verified IDs or export current IDs in your Microsoft Authenticator app. Now, when we go back home, at the bottom, you have authentication, which is where we are. And then you have passwords. Here in passwords is where your passwords are saved, which is very secure. And then right here, it has a nice arrangement of all your apps from A to Z, where you can save your login details all in this app. And then you could also save your payment details, such as your card info, and this can help you with purchases online. The next one is addresses, where you have your different addresses listed here. You have the option to add it with a plus icon at the bottom right corner. And when we go back home, you can see all the things we can do with Microsoft Authenticator app. Most likely, you will be using it to generate time-based codes for your secured login in any account that allows Microsoft Authenticator as a two-factor authentication method. So say we want to use one of these accounts, so we just need to tap on it. And here you see we have a 21 second countdown to use this unique code. After 21 seconds from when we started counting, this code will be changed to another unique code. And it repeats this process as long as you're in the app. So this is how to use Microsoft Authenticator on Android.